Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to come on here real quickly to do an unboxing of some goodies I got from Echo Park. I haven't done too much shopping this year so I thought I would share the little bit of shopping that I have done. So let's take a quick look and we'll get all our goodies out of here. Now. I bought some goodies after seeing one of those many emails I get from Echo Park. And I absolutely fell in love with this Be Happy collection. So I got some of this six by six paper. And let me share those with you. So just take a look at these beautiful papers. Look at these beautiful flowers. I don't have too much paper, pattern paper, with the yellows in them. So I thought this was perfect. Then this is like a pale blue with some white polka dots. Here's some cut aparts. This background with little bumblebees. And then here's another one. These ones are in a different pattern. This yellow and white gingham. This paper with the daisies and bumblebees on it. The honeycomb pattern. Here's some more cut aparts. A yellow and white stripe. This beautiful background with some honeycombs. Um, some beehives, some bumblebees, some flowers. Really pretty. And this one is black with white polka dots. Here are some daisies on a darker background. This one is the yellow tone on tone with hearts. A few more cut aparts. This one is a pale blue with white hearts some beehives and bumblebees, this black and yellow gingham, this beautiful flower print on the yellow background. Oh, and I like this green one with all the little vines all over the place. Then a few more cut aparts. Some honey jars here. Really pretty. And then another little floral print and a black and white gingham. And then they repeat. So you get 24 double-sided papers in this paper pad. Just beautiful. Then I also got the 12 by 12 pack from the Be Happy set. So let's open this one up, take a look at these. Again, here is this beautiful floral print. I think what drew me to this was just the beautiful colors, the yellow, the vibrancy of it. And being that we're now in summer, it just drew me, drew me right in. And then all these cut aparts. You are the bee's knees, I love that. And then on the back is this pattern of bumblebees. In this one, again, this is another pattern, but this is more of the peas of the bees, I'm sorry, meandering through. And then that yellow gingham. Here is these daisies and bumblebees on that pale blue background. Beautiful combination of colors. 
and then our honeycomb print. And then here are several cut aparts. These make for really easy card making, or if you're gonna make a um, folio of some sort, these are very helpful. Then this yellow and white stripe. And then these are all the same patterns that were on the six by six paper pad, but these are on a larger scale, which I like that there's a two different scales of these images. Very pretty. Our daisies again on this black background. Here's that yellow tone on tone with the yellow hearts. More cut aparts here. And then here's that pale blue with white hearts. Some hives with the bees flying around, the black and yellow gingham, here's some more floral, here's that green with all the little vines running through it, some bigger cut aparts here, I like these, then here's our honey jars, Here's the floral print and the black and white gingham. And then we have this sheet of stickers. And they're, they're a thicker, not a very flimsy sticker. They're pretty sturdy, so I really like these. And these bigger ones you could actually pop up on some foam tape and make them some nice focal points on your cards. Then, I also got two of these coordinating solids paper packs so that I would have some solids to coordinate with these patterned papers. Let me just pull them out real quickly so you can see what they look like outside of this cellophane wrap. So there's that beautiful yellow, black, looks like we get two of those, and a lighter yellow, get two of each, and then the green, beautiful. And then a bit of a different yellow, I think. Yeah, it's a shade lighter than this. And then on the reverse is that pale blue. So I got two packs of these solids, just so I have enough for my crafty session. And then I got a few single sheets of those 12 by 12 sheets. And then I do save this, um, it's like a cardboard that comes in it for other projects. So I got another one of this blue with the white hearts and the cut aparts, the yellow gingham and the bumblebees, the yellow stripe and more cut aparts, the honeycomb and this beautiful pale blue background with daisies and bumblebees. And the pale blue with the white dots and the floor. And then I got some of the ephemera. I've seen other creators make beautiful cards using coordinating ephemera. And I don't do that a lot simply because I don't buy the ephemera usually. But I thought this time it would be a good idea to buy it. So I did. So let me just lay some of them out so you can see what's in there. Kind words are just like honey. Hello sunshine. Buzzing by to say hello. 
be happy, happy day, be our guest, be awesome, just be you. And then there are a few little flags with that pattern paper. Be positive, little honey pots, little bumblebee there, so sweet. This is like a little journaling card. Be humble, be true, be wild, be you. I like that. Home is where your honey is. Be beautiful. Five rules. Be honest, be kind, be positive, be grateful, believe in yourself. And we have that one that says, oh, sweet honey. Hello, honey. Simply be lightful. Sweet like honey. 100% queen bee. Busy as a bee. Cute as can be. Welcome to our hive. And then another little journaling card. So cute. So there are 34 die cut pieces in this pack. And I am loving each and every one of them. And then, last but certainly not least, I got this beautiful six by six stencil. It is a honeycomb stencil and it coordinates with the Be Happy paper. And I thought, let me get this beehive hexagon stencil so that I can make some of my own backgrounds to coordinate with this patterned paper. So here are all my goodies from my recent Echo Park order, and I'm excited to get to start to play with them. Now I know I haven't been posting as regularly as I have in the past, we had a loss in our family this month, so that kind of threw, um, threw us for a loop. And so I haven't spent as much time in my craft room. And then I'm also babysitting my five-month-old grandson, which keeps me out of my craft room as well because he keeps me busy. But I'm hoping to get back to my regular schedule starting next week. So keep an eye out for my weekly videos as well as any hops I may be participating in. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.